Today we're going to look at the basics of the Capture app. In this display you can see the cameras that are connected to the account. You can also change the display by using the top right hand button and this simply enlarges the picture and you can scroll up and down to see the various cameras. The camera that you're interested in simply double click like so and give it a few seconds and there you've got a live feed of uh, the camera that we've just double clicked. You can also enlarge that by simply uh, clicking the top right hand arrows and this enlarges the picture. Clicking the same arrows top right again brings the picture back down to its normal size. Double click and you can zoom in. Uh, that's a two times digital zoom. You can move around simply by dragging and scroll the picture around. You'll also see down at the bottom, uh, bottom right, that there's a little camera display, a little camera button. You press that button and that takes a still shot of the image that you can see. We'll just zoom back out. On the left hand side you've got the record button. Press this and right up in the top there you can see it counting. That's the uh, seconds that's elapsed while it's recording. So it's actually recording onto the camera memory card but also onto your device as well at the same time. And you press the red square on the left to stop and there we go the video has been saved onto the phone in this case. You can also alter the uh, screen resolution if you're if you haven't got a particularly good uh, internet you can press the, uh, the button that's marked SD at the moment press that and you can select between high definition standard definition or smooth which is a very low definition image um, but that travels well when the internet's not so good. So we'll just move that to HD, switch into HD. Not on the external model that we're looking at at the minute, but on the internal models, you've also got bi-directional audio. So if I just move back to an internal camera, just double click that, give it a few seconds to connect, and this camera does bi-directional audio. So if you click the speaker that's highlighted in light blue, give that a click, sound on, and if there was any sound in that room, you could hear what was going off. Double click that again and sound off. But you can also talk. If you press the, the microphone button and hold it, start to talk, then people can hear what's being said in that room. And you let go, and there we go, stop talk. Uh, so you've got bi-directional audio there. Click back again. And we'll go into settings. And with settings, you can name the camera. Capture 1ZB at the minute. And you can also add a remark. So that perhaps could be where um, the camera is located in the house. Perhaps a room. Um, beneath that, you've got IP. You've got mic, Wi-Fi your version number of the hardware um, uh, that's in the camera and the SD card state. At the minute that camera's not got a SD card in. So if we click back and uh, rotate image, uh, that's camera orientation. So if the camera is mounted to a ceiling, uh, you could uh, allow for that and that'll invert the, the picture. Uh, alarm, with the alarm, Press the alarm button and um, you've got the alarm sound. Now, the alarm sound is the sounder that's on the camera. So if you want the camera to make a noise, if there's any uh, motion detected, then uh, the camera would make a trilling noise. The alarm tone is the uh, device's um, ring tone. So whatever's built into your device, go back, 
Oops. From, there we go. Uh, so that will now make the good news sound if there's movement. The grade, high, default and low. Uh, this is for sensitivity of the motion detection. There we go, just selected high. And the alarm time, so you can set the times that the alarm would activate. So that's set between four and seven in the morning and press OK. We'll just switch that back off. And there we go, we'll go back. Uh, video storage, this is the um, resolution that the camera records onto the memory card at uh, currently SD, standard definition, HD, high definition, and uh, smooth, low uh, definition. Um, in high definition, um, you would get roughly um, a couple of weeks on a uh, 32 gig stick. Uh, the SD uh, around about a month and the smooth uh, probably around about six weeks. Video lock, if you want to make the um, viewability of the camera more secure, you can create a video lock and as it shows in the picture there, you would simply um, swipe across to create a pattern and you would need that pattern uh, entered every time you fired the app up if you wanted to view that particular camera so it makes the viewing of the camera more secure. Sub account management is if you have somebody else that's also got an account, a Capture account, you can enter um, their username and password into that uh, once you've logged in and you can add them to that particular camera so they could view the camera as well. Change Wi-Fi. If you take the camera somewhere else, um, this is the um, selection that you need. Uh, you'd simply enter the Wi-Fi name and the password um, and this would overwrite the one that's already in the camera. So you don't need to reset the camera if you're changing the location of it. Go back into playback. Now with playback, um, hit the playback button, give it a few seconds while it connects. There we go. Um, now select your time and the day and the month and the year that um, you're interested in. So we'll say the 15th at 4 o'clock in the morning. A few seconds to access the card. Now this is accessing the card that's built into the camera. So this can take a while, there we go. And you can scroll on the timeline just to be more precise with the time. And again, as before, you can still take still shots. There we go. And you can also record the video that's playing back like so, just press the red button and now it's playing back uh, at 4.32 in the morning on the 15th of the 4th and while it's playing back it's also recording onto the device so we'll just stop that and there we go, the video has been saved into the album and that's it, okay